Mail, sir. Good afternoon. This is the radio news. Our top story. Spiro T. Agnew Middle School has just been named the world's most dangerous place on Earth. What? Here's our experts to tell you why Spiro T. Agnew is more dangerous than any other place except for maybe inside lava. Hi, I'm a scientist. And I'm a fearless adventurer. All I gotta say, Spiro T. Agnew School gives me the willies. It's got ghosts and stuff. It's built on top of a graveyard, and it's full of red-hot laser beams. Look out! Here comes a nuclear zombie that lives there. Stop so I can eat you. Ah! Very funny, you elementary school kids and your practical jokes. Well, from now on, I'm only concerning myself with the problems of middle school kids. Now, leave me alone. I told you I should have been the scientist. Oh, man, this is hopeless. Yeah, Skinner's coming for his big inspection tomorrow. Once that's finished, Prickly's out of here. Wait a minute. The big inspection, that's it. Prickly says he wants middle school problems. I say we help him out. I'm afraid I'm not following you, TJ. Gretchen, what do you know about 13-year-olds? For Prickly's a jolly good principal. For Prickly's a jolly good principal. Which nobody can deny. Yeah. Wow, Prickly, I'm impressed. You didn't put the kids up to this, did you? Oh, no, sir. Now, right this way, the kindergartners have spontaneously taught themselves a traditional Irish folk dance. Wonderful! But, uh, who are those children over there? I, I have no idea who they are. Well, then, let's meet them. Hello, son. I notice you're not lined up with the other students. That's because I reject you, man. You and everything you stand for. Well... That's fairly disturbing. Oh, it's just T.J. Detpiler, sir. He's just joking around. Ah, here's the intelligent and courteous Gretchen Grundler. Say hello to the very important man, Gretchen. Greetings, Aunt Depressia. Life is pointless. Leave me now to grapple with my own irrelevance as I confront young adulthood. Man. I know I gotta make weight, but I can't live on ginseng and egg whites forever. I'm breaking out! Yet another sock hop spent alone with my regrets. I have father issues. By Jove, Prickly, these are just the types of problems you'll be encountering in middle school. It's the perfect opportunity for you to show off your one-on-one -on -one counseling skills. Oh, uh, certainly, sir. Um, you, back off. You, cheer up. You, eat something. You, cut back on the fried foods. You, mow the lawn. You are so dreamy. Ow! Get a hamster, Prickly! What decisive handling of those children's strange problems. Spiro T. Agnew is yours. Let's go iron out the details, shall we? Sir, I would be delighted. <sighs> that was our last chance. I guess Prickly really is leaving. All right, everybody, break it up. There's nothing left to see. <sighs> nothing left at all. Gilda, this weapon is full of cement. See that it's cleaned out and made operational. All right, everybody, be brave. In a moment, Principal Prickly will walk out the door of Third Street School forever! <laughs> Gee, Miss Pinster, you're pretty upset about this, huh? It's a crushing blow. My own personal Hindenburg. Well, then, how come you didn't help us try and get him to stay? Oh, Principal Prickly is my friend. For years, he's wanted to run a middle school. It's his dream, and I'm not going to get in the way of that. Because when you really care about someone, you forget about what's best for you, and you do what's best for them. Well, that does it. Adios, K through Sixers. I'm off to 789 City. <laughs> Jeez, what's up with Finster? Sir, what it is with Miss Finster? Well, I think she's just really happy for you. And to be honest, so are we. You are? Yeah, I mean, all things considered, you've been a pretty okay principal. And, well, sir, we're gonna miss you. TJ, I, I had no... Very touching indeed. From now on, we'll just call you Captain Savage. Now, hold on, Slicer. Deathwinder was merely expressing... Enough! When I begin my duties here on Monday, there will be no sappiness. Sappiness makes you soft, like Miss Finster here. Finster, henceforth, Gilda is in charge of the playground. You will be her assistant. <gasps> you will wear a gray dress and answer to this whistle. Now come, Principal Prickling. It's time to move on. Go now and feel no need to look back. I'll whip this school into shape. Sappiness. Huh. This is it, guys. Today's the day. The end of life as we know it. Which hat am I supposed to wear? He didn't say which hat I'm supposed to wear! Thanks for the ride, Slicey! You're making a big mistake, Prickly! Principal Prickly, what are you doing here? Skinner wouldn't cough up enough cash, so I decided to stay. But believe me, the minute they make a better offer, I am out of here! Well, it's a school day, isn't it? Stop standing around!